How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews. Back for yet another review. A little bit of Minneapolis. Said that weird, didn't I? Minneapolis time. Uh, today's Massive Beer Review with Fulton Brewing's 300 IPA. Uh, Fulton Brewing, new to my area, just landed. I was lucky enough to get a box of beer from them. Thank you very much, guys. I'm going to kind of work my way through them. I think this is the third one I've had from them, or going to have. And, uh, yeah. Let's just dive in. As far as what it says on here, it says 300 India Pale Ale, uh, 7% alcohol by volume. On the side here, it says uh, we first brewed this Mosaic India Pale Ale to commemorate our 300th batch at our downtown brewery. It instant, instantly became our most celebrated beer. We haven't, haven't been able to brew enough of it ever since. And yet you'll find one in your hands right now. So why are you still reading? Uh, that'd be that. 10% hmm. of profits invested in um, the full 10 fund more info at Fulton Beer Community, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. Label wise, that's cool. I like their logo. You know, old school bottles. You know, they did have cans, but, you know, to see an IP in a bottle is, you know, kind of a rare thing nowadays. Everybody wants those cans because, you know, only good beer comes out of cans. I mean, that's science, you know. So, let's see what this sucker has. Okay. Super clear. Like, insanely clear. Magnifying glass clear. Um, half a pinky finger of a nice creamy head to it, just off white, super tight compact bowls. Yeah, man, wow. You don't see a lot of clear IPAs like that nowadays. Everybody just chomps at the big to go in the other direction. So it's kind of refreshing. Kind of explosive carbonation in there. So, yeah. Let's see what the nose has to offer. Quintessentially that Midwest IPA. I've talked about this before. Or some of these beers that are just not that West Coast piney thing. Um, they're not the East Coast citrus thing. They have this kind of more subtle resininess, subtle citrus, but it didn't have this kind of earthiness um, to them, this kind of spiciness. And that, to me, is that Midwest IPA. And that's exactly what I'm getting in here. It's this spicy, resiny kind of thing with a subtle kind of pithy orange thing going on. It's to a T what I get from those Midwest, Minneapolis, Chicago, those kind of breweries. A nice sweetness to it. Not too crazy, but yeah, that hop is vibrant, it's big, and it's in that kind of spicy, three-headed monster kind of realm. So, just going to dive right in and see what she's got. Cheers. Mm. That's a tasty beer. Um, yeah. Big, nutty malt character to it. Um, maybe even a little tinge, sweet honey kind of vibe to it. Combine that with that three-headed monster thing I was talking about. It's small citrus, small resinous, big kind of spice in this. No, it's not as big as you thought it would be based off of the nose, but it's pretty big. It's almost even with that maltiness. We have that big wash of that kind of nutty malt character. Kind of come in after. And it's kind of cool. Nice mouthfeel to it. Nothing too crazy. Obviously, it's not one of those stick a spoon in it, stick straight up kind of soupy beers. Especially in the IPA uh, realm of nowadays. But you didn't expect that based at all of the looks. And yeah, tasty, man. Tasty. I could chug a bunch of these. And that's actually kind of a problem because it's 7%. I want this flavor, a footprint, to be closer to your 55 6 But you're getting it at 7 Not going to complain. But if I drink too many of these and get a little bit wild... It's all your fault, Fulton. Um, yeah, it's 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 kind of classically Midwest, and that's basically what I got from the nose from the get. It's exactly what a Midwest IPA is. Not saying there isn't innovation, not saying there isn't kind of new schoolness kind of floating around the Midwest, but there's this big kind of push. It seems like on either side of the borders of the states, you're east versus west to grow those beers, the New England style hazy IPA, the West Coast kind of a forefront of that. Now even so southern states are getting into Texas and whatnot. This is very kind of what I expect from the Midwest, and that I think is a comforting thing. Um, yeah, super tasty beer, uh, super enjoyable, and uh, not what I expected. You know, you read Mosaic, you kind of get thoughts in your head. Very cool. I dig it, though. I, fair, I dig it. One of the better IPAs I've had as out of a bottle as of late. Let's put it that way. And let's get to the cut to the chase, get to there. Is it one of the better IPAs that I've had as of late? For me, it's not one of the better ones. It's definitely kind of the outside looking in, but it's definitely better than one of the better ones I've had out of the bottle. And it, it, it has that Midwest thing on lock, which I'm, I'm kind of a fan of. I have to be in the mood, and I'm in the mood right now, so it hit me just right. Uh, value and availability, don't know. We just hit our area, hit New York, I believe. You get it out in and around their states. 
So maybe so somebody can chime in. Who knows what's what? And um, leave you with uh, if you like what we like this. If you like those Midwest kind of IPAs, you know, if you like the stuff you're getting from Revolution and from um, Pipeworks and things like that, it hits those kind of notes in a more kind of refined, a little bit more kind of kind of. I don't want to say dialed back, but a little more straight laced kind of uh, format. It's not too. Uh, hairy on fire kind of in your face with any different flavor it's just kind of straight in the middle well-made tasty kind of midwest ipa that you know if you're in the mood for it like i am today kind of hits the spot so there you go another review in the books hopefully you guys enjoyed it uh, if you did didn't anywhere in between down there words and stuff and things uh facebook twitter instagram untapped massive beers all four of those places if you want to check me out anywhere else and another review review down so hopefully you guys enjoyed the review hopefully enjoying a nice Midwest IPA right now, and hopefully see you next time. Cheers.